10 phrases that instantly make you sound less intelligent. And I wanted to do this video because I know many of you guys get nervous on your dates, especially the more attractive she is. You're going to find yourself saying things and doing things that you normally would not. But these 10 things do not say on your dates because she's going to think that you are not so intelligent and maybe in fact think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. 10 phrases that instantly make you sound less intelligent. So I'm going to get right into this. Number one, when you say like, um, so it's a waste. And in Canada, we say a, you've probably heard this before. Like, oh, that the weather's great. eh? isn't this coffee good? A, eh? it's a useless term. It, it's just like saying like, um, and you're questioning yourself. So just, this is the thing. This is the point in communication. And Tony Robbins said this in one of his books, I think Awaken the Giant. And he said, the quality of your life will be determined by the quality of your communication. Not that you always have to sound like an academic. In one of my videos, I spoke about a YouTuber and she has, she's pulling in about $2 million a year. She's 19 years old on YouTube. Okay. Not only fans on YouTube. 2 million a year. And one of the tips she said is she said, communicate to people as if they're a five-year-old. Well, she's, you know what I mean, right? To basically dumb it all down. And when you think of the difference between Trump and Kamala Harris, right? Trump dumbs it all down. And Kamala Harris, she's an academic and she was a lawyer. So that's ten, tends to be the way that she speaks. But the way she speaks does not resonate with most people. What most people want is they want simple communication, straight up answers. So do avoid words like, like, um, okay. So that's number one. Number two, don't say this phrase. Well, I'm not a genius, but I'm really good at this particular thing, or I'm not a genius, but I am an engineer and I'm really good with mechanical things. Just avoid that dude. Okay, this is the thing. Most of you guys emasculate yourself when you're nervous, especially around beautiful women or you're around high status men. So just be aware of that. Don't you, there's no need to emasculate yourself or make fun of yourself or say things like, well, I'm not a genius, but just, just, just go straight out and say, hey, I'm, in fact, you want to elevate yourself just a little bit maybe a little bit more than what you actually are. So for example, I have a toilet paper business, but instead of toilet paper, sometimes I say, oh, I sell bathroom tissue. I know it's a play on words, but or most times I actually say I have a toilet paper business, but I'm just saying an example, right? If you, instead of your position as a coordinator, you can say, oh, I, help manage the marketing for such and such. You know what I mean? It's all about the words. So I'm not a genius, but avoid that one. That's number two. Number three, when you say, I literally died when that happened. It's just, it's like something kids say. So just avoid that one too. I literally died. Uh -huh. It's just dumb. Number four, when you say the word, can I be honest? Can I be truthful? Do you know what happens? This is what happens and studies have been done. When people say, can I be honest with you? Can I be truthful? There's something in people's brains on the receiving side where they now distrust you. It's like, well, so does this mean you haven't been honest before and you haven't been truthful before? So stop saying that. Stop saying, can I be honest with you? Can I be truthful with you? Or honestly, truthfully avoid that. Okay. So that's number four. Number five, the word just. Well, this, this is what you guys do when you call women, right? And maybe you spoke to her two days ago and you call her again and you say, hi, I'm, 
I'm just calling because, or you're calling into a store and you're the customer and you say, I'm just calling. It just, it diminishes, it diminishes you. It puts you in like the subs, subservient role. It's weird. And that's what happened when people hear the word just, I'm just calling because, or hey, um, I just need your attention for two minutes. Avoid it. Okay, so that's number five. Number six, when you say, I hate to say this, but. So again, it's another example of somebody when they hear, I hate to say this, but. Hate is a negative word. And when you say that in a sentence, I hate to say this, but right away, they're like, uh oh, uh oh, what are you trying to tell me? So that's another example is number six. So number seven, no offense, but it's like you're, you're warning them that you're going to offend them. So you're saying, well, I don't mean any offense, but you don't even have to say, but so no offense, however, like. It's like you're telling them in advance, I'm going to offend you. So just, just FYI, just a heads up. So avoid that one as well. That's number seven. Number eight, similar. I could be wrong, but I could be wrong. For those that say I could be wrong, it's kind of a dismissive, insulting phrase. It's, it's like somebody has said something and you say, well, I could be wrong. But I believe the polls say differently. It's, it's like a backhanded way of responding to someone when you say that. So that's another thing to avoid saying on your dates. Number nine, when you say it's kind of that, that is when you're, you're, you're like questioning yourself and you don't actually are sure of the answer. Like fucking say it, just say it instead of saying, well, kind of say, look, this is, this is what I think about this. Boom. Straight up. You know what I mean? Again, communication, be clear, concise. All right. And number 10 is when you say something like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, why are you asking them to understand what you've just said? Who cares if they don't understand it? Just say, this is what it is. And if you speak clearly and concise, that you will just get much further in your life. And, and I hate to bring up politics, but it just as a marketer, I, I, I can't vote anyways. I'm from Canada. So as a marketer and everything that's going on between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, it is absolutely fascinating to me. The difference in the campaigns, the difference in how the media is looking at it, and the difference in the, the way they're both communicating with the public It'll be very, very interesting to see what happens with the election on November 5th, 2024. But it's, it's, it's just, it's fascinating to me because their communication styles are, couldn't be any different. And I have some predictions. I'm not going to share in this video of what I think, how I think the election is going to go down. Um, but I will reserve any thoughts on that because we will see on November 5th what actually happens. If I think what happens happens, then I will do a video on that and why it happened the way it did. Okay, so maybe not. I'm not sure if I, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to kind of throw in a few videos here and there of some um, political um, commentary and some, some opinion things. All right. But, but again, keep in mind, I'm not American. I'm here. I've only been in the United States for 16 months and I'm from Canada and I can't vote anyways here. So, all right. Hope you like this video. And just remember when you're on these dates, keep it simple, keep it concise, be straight and speak to her, not literally, but metaphorically like she's a five-year-old. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you next time.